Left Wing Kings. Listen, think, act, repeat. When I think about these older politicians, I wonder if there's a disconnect. Like you 80, 90 years old. Like mm-hmm. you don't you not you don't care about the same things I care about, just like I don't care about the same things my son cares about. Yeah. Right? Like somebody that's like, let's think about this. Let's say you was about to retire, man. Mm-hmm. And you was, I don't know, a year my age away. Now, right? <laughs> yeah, your age right now. Let's say you was your age right now. You was about to retire in a year. Yeah. Would you be working as hard as you was when you was 30 years old and just started I don't do that, that job? Now. <laughs> okay, you may not do that now. I'm cutting corners now. You might be cutting okay. corners now, but shoot. if you was about to retire in a year, you might be cutting more corners. Oh, man, shoot. If I'm going to retire in a year, I ain't there. You know exactly. Saying? That's my point. Are they the there? No, Are no, they no. there? They yeah. 90 years old, man. Feinstein they, ain't there. We know that. She ain't there. She ain't there at all. Yeah, like, really, exactly. physically, <laughs> mentally, anything. Like, but are they minds when they are there or supposed to be there? Paul McConnell, his mind frozen. So I don't know about him. <laughs> yeah, Mitch, But man, Grassley, man. Uh, even Biden, like, come on, bro. Like, are you really into this? Like, you should be into this. You 80, 90 years old. Do you really give up? You know what I'm saying? Your mindset shifts. It does. Yeah, I mean, you know, but you know, wow, yeah, I mean, but what's my name? You say his name better, the Vivek. What's his uh, name? Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. Uh, I don't want to talk mm-hmm. about him. He's a young cat, and his mind ain't there either. You know what I'm no. saying? <laughs> hey, oh, no, no, he's no, crazy, no. but he's <laughs> he's about leadership he's and getting smart. credibility. He's smart. He's yeah, smart he's smart. Time. He crazy. Mm-hmm. He's smart though. I mean, I get your point. He, he, <laughs> like, 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 he ain't I, he ain't got the best ideas and all, but his, he has his faculties. He, right. I think that he wants to do something. He may yes. not do what I want to do, but he, but he wants right. to do something. These cats, they just sitting up there getting a paycheck, bro. They they getting their medical. They just I'm just gonna stay here because I got medical issues. They got lifetime, but they, don't they get lifetime healthcare? So it doesn't matter. That's I don't know if they, they life, if they if they got cobra they get after lifetime. they get out. I don't yes, know. they get lifetime. <laughs> they are taken care of. Trust me. That's what they were saying. Like to put people on their insurance. That's what AOC was coming out talking about healthcare and all the benefits. When she got into um, in legislation, she was like, "Oh my gosh! Like y'all don't y'all don't know what's happening here. It's a different world. Things that I'm getting now that I didn't have before. Wow." Mm-hmm. You know, like that's why I, th- I think, again, initially some of them that are newer come in and they really are true public servants. Mm-hmm. But eventually we all get corrupt. There's a number for everybody. Yeah. It's hard to corrupt us, but there's a number for everyone. Mm-hmm. And we can sit up here and say, no, I would never. Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah you would. And it's a matter of time. That's why term limits are important because it's a matter of time before you come corrupt. That's right. Some that's- people faster than others. Yeah. yeah. I there mean, girl, Stacy, Stacy right. Perry Sillman. <laughs> Mrs. Silman on the line. She said, "Uh, we have to vote them out. Focus on key ones with yeah. grassroots campaigns. Even companies change and rotate their leadership to be successful for the future. Yes. Yes. Every, everybody everybody like, does it. Let's just think about a company that keeps the same leader like they don't. forever. Unless they're the founder, like Ford. He probably was a leader. But he even let his son take over. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have the same. You, you become stale. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. your ideas. You have no innovation. You become stale. You don't change. You don't. You stick to what you know. You stick. It, it's just not good for anybody, man. It's just a bad situation all around. And I and I don't think that these individuals um really have anyone's best interest in mind except their own. Once they get to a certain age, I think they check out. Yeah, I mean, I think right now America's letting the people that still write checks run the country. Like <laughs> the person that's in the in, in, in the grocery line with the checkbook. Yeah. You ever been there in that situation? <laughs> you ain't they, they standing run, behind run the country and you like, dude, you can you can We've tap, moved on. You can tap your ATM card and keep it moving, yeah. bro. Like you can tap your phone, your ATM card, don't, whatever. Right. Don't write that check, bro. <laughs> like Well, ensures fresh perspectives. And I think as you get older, you just it you get stagnant. They're comfortable. Just like the check writer, they're comfortable in what they do. They feel like I ain't got to learn nothing new. I'm good. Hey, ain't nobody got to. They, yeah. look, the cashier don't have a pen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they're not ready for you. Yeah, and your check. They show sure ain't. <laughs> like you know, have you opened up a new account and they offer you, they offer you check? Be like, really? Y'all still offering checks to people? Yeah. Just give me Temporary a card. Temporary checks? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need like, that. Like, nah, like, I don't need that, bro. Give and me. you can just take it in the perspective, like you just said. Like they get comfortable. Yeah. They get comfortable in their ways, man. Like these people, 80, 60... 
60 something years old is the average age of one of these congressmen. These are people, I, we ain't nobody at this table is 60 years old. At that point, you like, I've heard 60 year old people talk. They don't give up. You know what? My they mama. say My mama. whatever they want to say. <laughs> Sorry, mom. They do what they want to do <laughs> and they don't give a fuck. They, like, they're, they're, and these people in Congress, yeah, they don't care about you, me, <laughs> all of our decisions. Like, they care about how, my, how do I stay here? How do I keep getting this medical, this money? How do I stay here? What do I got to say pr- to stay? Yeah, yeah, no, they definitely on that, man, you know. You know, it's crazy. Term limits, I mean, I, I think we do it. I, I think it's like reparations, though. It's just... <laughs> we can talk about it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not going to happen. It yeah. ain't they, happening. They, they ain't giving up that bag, man. No. They ain't doing it. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's sad to say, uh, but that's just, just what it is. And uh, for that, we, we have what we have right now. We have people that are in office that are probably a little bit past their prime. Now, let, let's take it real. When they founded the country... Ben Franklin was old. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They did some great things. So I'm not mm-hmm. taking it away from I'm not taking anything away from the elder statement. Okay. That, that, that's actually right. being active and doing something. But I think it's a point where it's physical or you, you're just not being relevant, then you need to probably hang it up mm-hmm. and, and, mm-hmm. and get going. Uh Let's say Biden and Trump, let's look at that a, a little bit. We can kind of say what they want, but I think they're in a different envelope than like Feinstein mm-hmm. and, and uh, definitely and, and Grassley. Even Pelosi. Pelosi's up there. Yes. And, but she Pelosi's stepped, 81? But yeah. She stepped, she stepped down. down. She knew. And she stepped she down she people, for a new, she, fresh she let, perspective. She, fresh she said that. Come in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She you said that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and, and, and I think she takes on the elder statement. Like, right. Right now. Like, you know, come ask me some advice. I'll give it to you. I'll give you my uh-huh. perspective, but mm-hmm. keep it moving because- I'm going we to got Tahiti. New people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's I'm talk all, about you know, right. I'm, I'm Let's talk move. about that though. To your point, people may not agree with me. I think Pelosi cares. Yeah. I think she cares about people and what's in their best interest. Now, she's done some messed up stuff. Like she was supposed to be doing the COVID thing. She was supposed to, like she went to the hairdresser when she wasn't supposed to, and mm-hmm. you know, whatever other stuff that she might have did that Republicans don't like. But at the end of the day, I think she cares about her people in her party. And right. she was like, you know what? I'm 80, 81 years old. And she probably noticed some things were happening that she was like, mm-hmm. oh, damn, I can't remember where I put this or I can't, this, that, or whatever's happening. I, I probably need to step down because I need to make room for someone else who I know they're not deteriorating. But as we all get old, we all deteriorate, okay? Mm-hmm. Nobody is going to make it till they 100 to be the same as they was when they were 20, all right? Mm-hmm. Your mind, everything. So to that end, I think that we have some people to your point, Ace, they care and they're good at what they do and they can still do something at 81, 82, 83, 85, 90. There's, mm-hmm. there's got to be some people out there who are still good and still want to do good. Do I think that's the majority? No, I, I don't. But I, I think that it's nothing is absolute. There are no absolutes in life. There's somebody out there doing the right thing that's older that can do it. Yeah. And Pelosi stood up in January the 6th. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of reasons why some things got done when when shit hit the fan primarily is because Pelosi got on the her mm-hmm. and made, made people yep. start moving. Experience because you know yeah. experience does matter. I don't want people to think that we're talking about you shouldn't have experience and we just want some twenty year old running the country or anything. Nah, but, hell, you yeah. know what I mean? Nah, but, let's that. go the opposite. Yeah, realm. let's go up. Yeah, What's yeah. The extreme. So Ramaswamy, take his ass on somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Sit down, <laughs> little boy. You, yeah. you know, and just real quick, how your old parents hit the night. You, your parents became citizens that came to this yep. country 40 years ago. Yep. Before Feinstein, after Feinstein, Feinstein was in office for 20 years. Yeah. You know yes. Already. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you got enough nerve to be judgmental in this country. Wow. When you take yeah. a seat back yeah. somewhere. <laughs> you just got here, you complaining. <laughs> if you the rich. Civil Rights Act wasn't passed, you couldn't even run for office, fool. Yeah. You wouldn't have been talking. Exactly. Yeah. You couldn't even run for office. Exactly. Yes. And you come in on it. Couldn't boy, even vote. Boy, go yeah. read your history book and realize what side your, the bread is buttered on. Exactly. Man, everybody trying to hit your nonsense. Yeah. That, that's it with me and him. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got your boy Steve is on here. He said mm-hmm. uh, two term up, limits Steve? for senators and four term for the House would be good. Yeah. Uh, enough time to really make a change, but, but not a but, lifetime job. I agree with yeah. that wholeheartedly. I mean, definitely. And now I know people are going to scream age discrimination, but I think, man, once you hit like 70, you should just tap out. Tap out. 
I mean, no, I should think it should be the retirement age. Like whatever 65? Our, it's 65, you know, you're retired because again, it's a profession. It's a job, right? So you retire just like the rest of us, mm-hmm. 65. That's yeah. it. Yeah. It's okay to go live the I rest of your I life. Retire at 65. But <laughs> a lot of people ain't got that. Like yeah. Right. Do. But, you know, I think you should definitely, I mean, it ensures representation. Well, you know, too. Ed, I'm really leaning toward when you physically, you your faculties in a situation where you can't perform the job. Because I think that, I mean, I think that in a case in point, when you're talking about the Congress, you do need that elder statement. You need somebody who is a, a little more older and experienced. And somebody who is probably going to say, hey, you know what? This is a better way to do it. Because sometimes uh, 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 young people or people who are youthful try to reinvent the wheel. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you need an older person to say, hey, listen, man, we tried, we tried that and did, did it. it. But That's 65, you don't think you, they yeah, had enough like, experience at that time? Enough. I mean... I mean, <laughs> I, mean I don't need no 80s, They've had a couple of decades. Yeah, well, okay. well, I'm not saying it, but I just think that 65, but me, 70 may still be. I mean, when you make that age, you know, we can argue that age. Also. Right, right. Between Yeah, the age that, is different than some your, physical, very healthy. your faculties. Yeah. I think that's what you said at first. Right. Like, once they get to a point where their faculties... I mean, Chuck Grassley, it seems like he still got all his faculties, and he's 90. I don't want that cat in there. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> I, I mean, that's too old, man. Like I said, 65, I'm I'm cool, 65, 70. Mm-hmm. Good with that. I think that that's that elder statesman. That's that individual who, like you said, lived life. needs yeah. to let them know, hey, I've lived life. I've been here, bro. That what you're trying probably ain't gonna work. Let's try it this way. Like mm-hmm. this ha- we haven't tried it this way though. Let's but not shutting stuff down. That, that's another thing. And people know process engineer background. I'm like, look, I don't like when people just shut stuff down because to me, you you need to go through a process to determine, you know, right, wrong, the wrong path. Even if you tried it before, let's start off there and see where we get. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't have to do it, but it could be an idea that, that sparks the flame for something bigger and better. 